There was a rake of three old coaches that had been on the Fat Controller's Railway long before Thomas came to the island. James, Edward and Henry took it in turns to pull these coaches as part of their suburban trains. James loved these coaches and would seek every chance he got to pull them, as he thought they went well with his smart red paint. One day at the sheds, James was in a foul temper. It's not fair, he huffed crossly. Why isn't fair? asked Lady. They have been on the railway for many years. Why do they have to be scrapped? What's being scrapped? Henry yawned from the other end of the shed. The old coaches, rapped James. The fat controller said that some fancy new ones were being brought over from the mainland. I saw them in the yard this morning, said Percy. They're really nice. James scoffed. I'm still going to take those old coaches out, he fumed. I wouldn't do that if I were you, James, Edward warned. The fat controller has placed them in the main siding at the big station. I will be taking them with my scrap train this afternoon. James was furious, but all he could do was mutter under his breath as he headed off to work. James pulled into the big station. Waiting for him at the platform was a beautiful rake of red coaches. Ugh, horrible things, he grumbled. He then noticed the old coaches sat in the siding. James looked at the new coaches for a few seconds, and then looked back at the old ones. I'm sure the passengers wouldn't mind one more outing with the old coaches, he said to himself. That afternoon, Edward arrived with a scrap train to take away the old coaches, but was very surprised to see that they weren't there waiting for him. That's odd, said Edward. Percy just shunned them years ago. Just then, he saw a lady shunting the freight cars in the yard. Edward decided to talk to Lady where the coaches are. Hey Lady, asked Edward, have you seen the old coaches anywhere? No, I don't see them, asked Lady. I was just shut them in the yard. Well, Percy just shut them years ago, but unfortunately, he probably didn't. What are you talking about? He shut the coaches already. Uh, though I do see someone in red took them yesterday, the only angel left in your is... Before Lady can say anything else, Edward paused and surprised. I must find Sir Topham Hat, puffed Edward, and he raced off to find him, leaving a confused lady behind the yard. Meanwhile, James had stopped at Edward's station with the old coaches. He was feeling very pleased with himself. These coaches won't be scrapped now, he chortled. Oh, won't they now, said a stern-sounding voice. James almost jumped when Edward arrived. The back controller stepped down from his cab and walked sternly up to James. You have disobeyed my orders, he said. These coaches have been retired, and that is why I brought new ones to the railway. Unless this is Sir James Hatt's railway, then these coaches would have a different fate. James felt rather defeated. At the fat controller's command, he shunted the coaches in the station siding. And Edward then took them back to the big station to join his scrap train. The passengers were cross that they couldn't go anywhere, but luckily the fat controller had sent Percy to bring the new coaches for James to pull for the rest of the day. At first, James didn't like the new coaches and felt rather silly. 
that as he puffed up Gordon's Hill, he had to admit that his smart red paint looked very stylish with their own. By the time James had reached the end of the line, he had had a change of attitude towards the new coaches. In truth, he was going to miss the old ones, but he knew that they had had a long and useful working life. And deep down, James hoped that these new coaches would serve the Fat Controllers Railway for many years to come.